Hi, I'm Alexandra. I hope to make you happy with version 7.6 of OpenXAVA, the version of Wishes. Wishes, because this time, instead of doing something grand and spectacular, we have fulfilled some of your wishes. Requests that you, the ones who work with OpenZava day after day, have asked us for again and again. And finally, your pleas have turned into a release. Editable list mode, which means you can modify any record's data without going into its detail. Yes, you can turn list mode into a spreadsheet. Support for large data sets in the dropdown of at descriptions list. Finally, millions of records in a combo with spectacular performance. And a detail that may seem small, but is very, very useful for your poor users, being able to download all attached files at once by clicking a single link. Moreover, this version of OpenXAVA supports Java 25. And many, many more things. Let's take a look. Without a doubt, the most attractive feature of this new version is being able to modify record values directly in list mode without going into detail. For example, in this list, the columns family, unit price, and warehouse are editable. Let's try changing the family in the first record. We'll set it to software. Notice the confirmation message. We change the unit price of the second record to 13. And in the third record, we modify the warehouse. Since we're a bit suspicious, let's go into the detail of the three records to see if they really were modified. We see software for the family, 13 for the unit price, and Alma 11 for the third one. Wonderful, it works. By default, list mode works without editable properties, just like before. Normally, users won't want all the properties of every list to be editable. However, enabling editable lists is very easy. You hardly need to touch any code. Let's see how. To mark editable properties in a list, we need to go to its tab annotation and add the new attribute editable properties. In this case, we include family, which is a reference with at descriptions list, just like warehouse, unit price, which is a plain property, and also extended descriptions, which is a calculated property. Calculated properties cannot be edited. So even if we add it here, it won't appear as editable. It's only included to illustrate the case, but normally we wouldn't add it. Only simple editable properties and references with descriptions list are allowed. But what about validations? Let's take a look. If we take a closer look at the unit price property, we notice that it has a required annotation and a property validator annotation. Well, these validations are executed before saving the value from the list. Let's test it. Let's try leaving the unit price of the fourth record empty. We select the value, delete it, and leave the field. The field is highlighted in red, and at the top we see the corresponding validation message. In addition to the validation annotations, it also executes the code in the setters and in the JPA callback methods of your entity. But be careful, because it does not execute the module's save action nor the onChange actions. Your users will surely be delighted with the editable list, especially those who need to edit many records to make a small change in them. But this is not the end. Version 7.6 has more interesting features. As you know, making a JPA ManyTune relationship display as a drop-down list in OpenXAVA is as easy as annotating the reference with descriptions list. The thing is, this only works well with small datasets, usually a few hundred, and at most a few thousand. But no more. Now that's no longer the case. We can have drop-down lists with millions of records. I'm going to show you. This customer module has a whopping 1 million customers in a MISQL database. Let's go to the incidents module where there is a reference to the customer displayed with a combo box. We dare to open the combo. As we scroll down, more records are loaded on demand. We keep scrolling down and more and more records load. Let's try filtering. It filtered instantly, but it also opened the combo immediately, loading the record super fast. Entering the record was lightning quick, and entering the module as well. Pure speed, no waiting, with 1 million records. You know that with an OpenXAVA version prior to 7.6, this would have blocked the application. 
The next thing may seem small, but it's something your users have been asking for persistently ever since the file upload editor existed. With just annotating a property with the file's annotation, your users can already upload multiple files, even at the same time, and also download them. But the latter had to be done file by file, which sometimes is a pain. Now we have a new button to download all files at once. For example, in this case, we have three files. And now we have a new icon, which when clicked, will download all three files compressed in a zip. Let's look at the downloaded zip. There it is. We unzip it, and there are our three files. Just a few days ago, the long-awaited Java 25 was released. Finally, a new LTS version after several years, with language improvements and better performance. Open Java 7.6 will let you enjoy Java 25. I'm going to give you a small demo. In my project, I run Maven package so that it compiles using Java 25. It does it without any problem. Now I run the application also with Java 25. You'll see that it starts without issues. Moreover, if we tried it with a browser, it would work perfectly. Look, JDK 25. We have run the full Open Azeva test suite with Java 25 to make sure it works well. Let's now see how our project is configured. To configure the project, I set 25 as the Java level in the palm.xml of my project. Moreover, at the bottom of the palm.xml, you need to add the following. This is mandatory for Lombok to work with Java 25. If you use Open Java Studio, you need to add Java 25 as a JRE and configure the Maven tasks to use Java 25. Don't worry, everything is explained in detail in the Open Xava documentation, in the link I'm sharing, or simply by searching for Open Xava Java 25 inches on Google. But that's not all. There is much more in version 7.6. We've fixed three security vulnerabilities, two of them critical. The icon annotation now allows the user to choose from over 7,000 icons. With a property in Zava.properties, we can restrict the languages available to the user. We have improved performance when loading the view in the browser when retrieving a record. This and more than 20 new improvements. To update to the latest version of OpenXAVA, you don't need to download OpenXAVA Studio again. In fact, you don't need to download anything at all. You just have to change the version number in the palm.xml of your projects. Let's take a look. Open the palm.xml file of your project. In the openxava.version entry, type 7.6 and save the changes. In the project, choose Run As, then Maven Clean. Next, go to Run As and select Maven Install. Wait a moment. And your project is now updated to version 7.6 and ready to run. Additionally, from now on, when you create a new project from OpenXAVA Studio, version 7.6 will be used by default without you having to configure anything. OpenXAVA Studio always uses the latest available version for new projects. For all the details, I recommend checking the full announcement on the openxava.org blog. In the video description, you'll find the direct link. Bye.